much here. I want to thank you for watching. I want to remind you to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the links in the video description down below. It'll be down there. I want to tell you guys a funny story, but uh, this video is actually about uh, the safety harnesses, the racing harnesses. I just rode this thing to my cousin's house. I got it street legal, of course. You guys know that. Uh, I rode it to my cousin's house, and I passed a, a cop. He actually turned in front of me, uh, Canton PD, and uh, he just kept going. Well, I was like, sweet, they're not going to bother me, you know. Uh, and I pulled into my cousin's driveway, and I revved it up a couple times to let him know I was here, there. He knew I was coming, but just let him know I was there. And I was undoing my belt and got out, and there was a sheriff that watched me pull in. Not a sheriff, Canton PD watched me pull into his driveway and he stopped and was just a looking and a looking and a looking and my cousin by that time they was already at the door looking to see if it was me or not and that's that PD he was just sitting there I don't know if he ran the plate or not but then he just drove right off but he stopped dead in front of his driveway was looking so if that don't tell you guys anything then I don't know what will but hopefully they will leave me alone I know it's uh you don't see it every day. There's quite a few around here, but you don't see them every day. So I don't know if the cops are gonna mess with us or not. Um, I'm legal. I got the documentation to prove it. But I just thought it was kind of funny. That's like uh, the fifth cop that I've not really came in contact with, but have definitely been noticed by. And driving this thing down the road, it really gets the the laughs and people beep at you and go like this and. Uh, People really just enjoy it and then you just beep at them or rev it up or whatever. It's kind of cool. You don't see that stuff every day here. Everybody got side by side. Not everybody, but a lot. Got side by sides, but they're not street legal. Uh, I, I personally only know of about eight of them in Stark County. That are, I'm sure there's more, but I only know about eight of them that's actually registered the same way mine is. Um, not the little APV bullshit plate. So. But yeah guys, uh, I hope you enjoy the video and I'm going to have some more footage. I forgot the GoPro at home. I got to my cousins and I said, dang it, I wish I had the GoPro. So I swung back here to get it and I figured, well, while I'm here, it's nice and sunny. It's nice out. Let's go ahead and show you guys how I installed these. So might as well get that over with. I got the, got the GoPro up in there now, but before, uh, I can't believe I left the house without it. Um, it happens. I did have my cell phone right here um but i was listening to music and you can't record and listen to music you'd think apple would fix that because i think you can do that with android or you used to be able to anyway but you'd think apple would fix that but there's no way around it that i know of because i'd love to listen to my music and record but then again i couldn't uh put that on youtube or facebook because then they would just take it down or they would demonetize it, which I'm not monetized yet, but whenever I get monetized. Um, anyway, guys, that was my fun for now. So let's go around. I'm gonna show you guys how I went ahead with this. Good roundabout of the machine. See everything I've done to it. Those are them new whips I was telling you guys about in another video. Got them on both of our machines. Here's my plate, of course. Street legal, baby. Street legal. That was hard to do. As you can see, I got those nice orange whips in there. Or not whips. Uh, dang it. Where's my brain? My brain's still frozen from riding harnesses. <clears throat> Wanted to talk to you guys about... What you got to do to install these they're super easy they're super simple they just uh strap right around the roll cage bar and then in the 800 dx i was able to leave my seat belts in but in my wife's trail i had to take them out because there wasn't enough room but it, in the 800 dx you see the belt tensioner down here the bolt that bolts it in is actually long enough where you can just put these on with another nut. Make sure they're tight, guys. Put that on, 
then that takes care of this side and then when you come over here there's a couple Phillips screws a bunch of push pins as you see I broke a bunch I got to get those from AutoZone pull this cover off <clears throat> pull this cover off and bring it down and then you'll see can't really see it down in here now but where these bolt on you can just pull that bolt out and put the the bolt down point bracket for this underneath this seat belt and bolt it back down or you can take these out now if you're wondering how you disable the limiter that goes into this seat belt just cut it in half cut it in half that eliminates it at least it did for my wife's side by side this one's still hooked up this one don't even work actually you can ride around at 80 mile an hour without the driver's seat belt on i don't know why you would but you can and uh but you pull this off there's still some plastic clips i need pull this off and one thing where this hole is you can't see it because the seat's in there cut that where the hole the hole that goes around here on the outer edge cut a slit in that you'll thank me later cut a slit in that so you can just slide this in and out if you ever have to take this off you don't have to take it off and lay it in here and it'd be in your way you can take it all the way out that's what I did both sides super simple super easy the longest part about installing these is taking that plastic off now if you're taking the seat belts out you can get down in there with a socket and a swivel you can get down in there with a socket and a swivel and get the bolts out and pull them out but it'd be much easier if you just take and take that plastic cover off i they're super easy to install i promise guys they're not that hard at all um so bear with me i didn't do a video on installing them because i was kind of in like piss off mode i was doing two of them and and my wife's trail it was it was kind of a headache doing it my wife's trail was kind of a headache putting them in because i had to take her seat belts out i don't know why they're the machines are different i understand it's a trail the the width is different the the suspension the axles all that's different but the plastic the body it's damn near similar i don't know what the big difference was hers is only hers is the 2018 that's a 2019 so i really don't understand why or wh what the deal was but in the 800dx those te seat belt tensioners they sit up in the 500 trail they sit down below a little bit more they are somewhat easy to get to you got to go in through underneath the machine and through the fender with a wrench put a wrench on there and then reach through and get it out that way there's not enough room to get in there and install at least for me there wasn't to leave both i would have loved to leave both but i couldn't so i pulled them off and i just sold them whatever selling them basically paid for the harnesses in a roundabout i sold them for 130 shipping cost me 22 bucks whatever you know i paid 170 for hers so i'm a little bit out of pocket for them not much but you know i wish i could have left them that way you wouldn't have to put them on every single time if you're just cruising around like campground or something but we always wear our safety belts so that's what's going to have to happen but in a trail like i said it's a little bit more of a pain in the ass it takes about an extra 20 minutes because you got to get in there with a long wrench get on this side with a wrench hold it get in there and once you break once you break it loose you can get in there with your finger and twist it out it's they're not that hard as long as they're not that rusty ours aren't that rusty because we keep them nice and clean they're a little dirty now because we didn't wash them the last little ride because it was super cold i didn't want to deal with frozen water but yeah guys i hope that shed some light i know there were some questions on how to do it even myself i had some questions i wasn't too sure 
super easy super super easy just make sure you get them tight 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 can't stress that enough you don't want them vibrating loose but yeah and the ex and it may be different for the newer trails i don't know i don't know what the difference is with that plastic pan it's all basically the same maybe it's the frame i don't know maybe they make a the frame slightly different i i have no idea i'm not sure i don't guess it's as good as mine maybe one of these days i can show you guys the difference but that day i i was gonna do the video on doing this one because it was easy hers was a pain in the ass i did hers first i was gonna do the video but after doing hers i was already in like oh this is bullshit mode i don't want to do this to both and then whenever i pop the seats out of this one i'm like her so i just got an extra nut and went boom, 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 put it in tightened her up it took me literally 10 minutes per seat on this one not including pulling the plastic pulling the plastic is an extra five minutes so you got like in a half hour if you drink a couple beers you got an hour or two in it if you're drinking and just you know screwing off but yeah guys i hope you like it and sorry it took a little bit long to do this video i'm sorry i didn't actually get the install on camera i just wanted to, i don't really have somebody to help me with the camera and I didn't want to deal with it. You guys, I'm sure, understand. Whenever you're working, you just want to do it, you know? I hope everything's been going all right for you fellas. and You're riding and having a good old time and everything. It's been going good around here. Cleaned up the garage a little bit yesterday. and Worked on my cousin's quad. Finally got it to get spark. It needed a new stator and pickup coil. Now it needs a, another new carburetor boot. We put a carburetor boot on it the last ride of the season, and that's when it quit. Uh, the spark went out. We let it sit here, and uh, for some reason, just sitting here, the carburetor and the boot separated. Brand new boot. Um, so he ordered another one. They're cheap, so it's kind of disappointing. Didn't even get five minutes of riding on that new boot, literally. And then the spark quit. Um, the stator, stator burnt. You, I, went, I threw it away or I'd show you, but it's all burnt. Actually melted one of the wires going up. I don't know what the deal was there, but that's Yamaha Warrior for you. That's what they do. Garbage. I love them. I love them, don't get me wrong. But man, when they're running, they're good. When they're broke, they suck. That's anything though, guys. But yeah, I was cruising the streets, jamming. It's a little cold. I come back here to warm up and grab the GoPro. When my wife gets off, we're gonna bundle up real good. And we're gonna take this sucker to go get some dinner. I've put about 50 miles on it so far on the street. Um, and that's around here at like 25, 30 mile an hour. I hit a couple 45s and and a 50 um no issues again with the cops none whatsoever i've passed a few waved at a few nothing um i think you kind of catch them off guard at first but then when they look and they see the plate they don't mess with you so all right guys that concludes this video and uh i'll see you guys in the next one I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget the giveaway. That 1,000 subscriber giveaway. That video will be coming up. I'll probably do that this weekend. We're still a ways away, but I'd like to get the giveaway video out there to motivate more people to watch more of my videos and get to know my channel. I get so many questions, so many questions that are easily answered in all, all of my videos. I know some things I repeat in every video watch my if you have a question on the cf moto watch my videos guys because i answer them even if the even if the video says uh riding around the cf moto just an instance i probably answered your question in that video you just gotta watch them learn learn as i'm learning as i'm learning i'm making them for you guys to learn so i really appreciate it and as soon as the I can't do the giveaway video this this weekend. I have to wait because they're shipping me that other whip, that Buggy Whips company is sponsoring. 
a whip for me to give away. So we're gonna have two whips to give away. One's new, one's off this, because I upgraded to the two. So, all right guys, watch my videos, learn some stuff. Try and help my inbox slow down. Some of you guys, I can't even answer you, there's so many. I apologize, I just, I don't have the time to do it, I'm sorry. I'll answer them as I can, it might take me a month. You might already figured it out by then, but I will get back to you. So, all right guys, Redneck Garage out. We'll see you in the next video. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out the links. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love.